quick update on the Yamaha Sika. Just came back from a proper ride, like a proper ride. Went out, took like a, made a loop, uh, went through the gears up to fourth gear, uh, went up to 50 miles an hour. So never went full on wide open throttle. Um, it's why ICS, the Yamaha, whatever, Yix motor, it's, it's like the, the th throttle, but like, I, I don't know, it could be a jet issue in the carburetor as well. As soon as I get to like halfway, all of a sudden it runs away, and it goes from, it climbs, once it hits 4,000, it shoots to nine. And that's when like, it feels like the bike's gonna run away from you. It, it's weird, it's like there's two settings on this bike. Um, you can keep it in the low end, and shift all the way up into the fourth gear, be cruising at like 45 miles an hour, or you just won't take up to the power band up at like eight, 9,000, but you better be ready to start shifting through it. Like, you know, at 60 miles an hour in fourth gear in a couple seconds, and you gotta be ready for that. Um, vacuum leak seems like it's fixed. I pulled the tank off. See, I painted it a little bit, pulled the badges off, it's painted up. Um, and I replaced the vacuum line, the petcock seems to be working out. Um, seems like there was a slight hesitation, slight stumble. I don't know if that's still like the fuel not getting through there fast enough. I still could have some like particles in the fuel tank as well. That's the one thing I didn't, wasn't thorough about. I, I didn't like pull the gas tank off and completely clean it out like I should have. Um, but I haven't been noticing any debris in my inline filter and the carbs have been running pretty nice and not backfiring or spitting out or anything. I'll start it up one, once more for you guys. It's, it's in the on. I don't have the petcock anymore. I can just like, leave it as is, which is awesome. I don't have to even touch it. I like that. So, starts right up. I uh, got rid of the battery warning. So all I have left is brake pad warning, I know I'm low, and the fuel warning. I have like, I kept filling it up. I'm not full, but I don't know if that's like my indicator, my, my float valve inside is wrong or stuff. Um, but on the battery, there's a, uh, whatever, you can look that up. I'll pull it off, I'll show you. the Yamaha, the, the whole warning light system. Thank you very much to XJ Forums, XJ Bikes, uh, for supplying all this information that I'm about to tell you. That is an incredible resource on these bikes, the Yamaha XJ series. There are dudes in there with a wealth of knowledge on these bikes, and they are the, the resource on these bikes. There is a lead, a wire here. It's the white with red stripe and this was a battery sensor what it did was the batteries that i guess yamaha came with the, the center plug here was actually a sensor connected to the end of this and it pl was placed in the battery and inside the whatever sensor for the diode or whatever it was it detected the level of fluid if fluid touched it it lowered the voltage or somewhat and turned the sensor off um, to bypass that, if you don't have that plug sensor, which no one does anymore apparently, you just unhook the relay and you connect it to your positive anywhere, any any power, any positive on the bike. Just, you know, but the that positive on the battery terminal is just easy, it's accessible. You can connect to your starter, uh, ignition coil, if you want, relay, is that what that is? I know the starter's down here, but that's the uh, ignition coil relay, I forget. Um, yeah, I'm still thinking cars, cars and bikes are kind of weird. Uh, yeah, so that's it. And I turned that warning off. So I just need to get the brakes, which got the brake pads ordered, got the wrong ones. Uh, and then that brake warning should go off. And then the fuel, I guess I'll just have to fill this thing up all the way and see if that turns off. And then psh, good to go. I mean, it's got new wheels coming with like pretty much brand new tires on them. It's cheaper to buy the wheels with the tires on them than to buy tires. It's crazy. So now I have two sets of wheels. Um, and this is this is awesome. I, I've been loving this bike already. Uh, I did notice when I was riding, uh, towards the end of my ride, it was like kind of bogging down and hiccuping at like up to quarter throttle. Um, I, I don't know.
don't know if that's like the fuel delivery issue again that I was talking about earlier or just still dirty carbs. Um, mine just came in just now. I raised the idle back up. So I could have just been running a little low in the idle. But that doesn't seem like that would that would change your, your quarter throttle. Anyhow. So there it is. Um, I'm gonna get a proper camera set up so I can start vlogging. Doing the whole motorcycle vlog. Maybe I'll get sponsored. Yamaha, sponsor me. I'm not too old to be a racer. I can do it. I can, I'm skinny, man. I'm, I can lose more weight too. You know, I'll get, I'll get down in weight and I can get that time on the track. I'm crazy like that. 